I originally shot this to be shown in real time to demonstrate how quickly a wall takeoff could be done with all of the searching, modifying, etc. It took 11 minutes to do this wall takeoff on this average house and it was boring. So I'm going to hit the highlights. I set the defaults in the wall extension for 2x6 104 and a quarter studs at 16 inches on center, two 2x two top plates with the wall sitting on concrete. From the item assignment toolbar I chose wood walls first floor, checked the auto assign checkbox and started searching for those walls that met the criteria. There were a total of four walls with 2x6 studs. I went back and checked the drop adjacent checkbox for those walls to add block material. The structural engineer required that two walls be composed of 3x4 studs at 16 inches on center. Because there were just the two, I left the defaults in the extension the same and estimated the two walls, changing the studs with each measurement. Notice I clicked on the intersecting wall location on the first wall. I actually was interrupted and had to close E takeoff. I opened E takeoff, left clicked on one of the wall takeoffs, right clicked the measurement, chose select an item assignment toolbar, left clicked the auto assign checkbox, and I was ready to start estimating again. The defaults were still set for 2x6 walls. You will notice if you look closely, the defaults have been changed to 2x4 walls. I did not show the extension default changing process again. I do not count some of the wider openings as there will be enough studs without adding for that opening. Each click adds three studs and there is one stud subtracted from the beginning click and the ending click. I have checked this formula a bunch of times and have never come up short on studs. Eventually, after checking and double checking,
I am done measuring the walls and I am ready to update the lumber list. Contact me with any questions you may have.